The Commonwealth has long been at the forefront of developing climate policy. Working together, our 53 member countries coordinate practical action to regenerate our common earth and to protect our shared ocean. The recent Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Special Report on Global Warming concludes that a temperature rise of one degree Celsius has already occurred. An increase of at least 1.5 degrees Celsius is now a real and imminent danger for millions of people and requires comprehensive adaptation measures as well as financial and technological support for developing nations. Most Commonwealth countries are experiencing the detrimental impact of human activity on land or marine environments and the negative effect this has on the livelihoods, welfare and sustainability of communities. This is particularly the case in our small island developing states, which might also be called large ocean developing states. In April of this year, at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, leaders of all 53 Commonwealth countries unanimously adopted the Commonwealth Blue Charter. Through it, they each committed to principled cooperative action to redress the threats facing ocean ecosystems and coastal communities. Nine Commonwealth Blue Charter action groups have been formed to focus Commonwealth collaboration on tackling specific priorities. These include the ocean and climate change, ocean acidification, coral reef protection and restoration, and the Commonwealth Clean Ocean Alliance to reduce marine plastic pollution. We share the ocean and we all rely on it and we live together on our common earth. So in working together in the Commonwealth towards a common future, we join in solidarity with Bloomberg Philanthropies and with all who are taking action to restore the natural balance of our planet and to use its bounty sustainably.